So I got my next piece clamped in the <laughs> in the fixture here, uh, and I got a plan. I even did a little practice piece to try to figure out what what I wanted to do for this bead. And so I got this piece. It's even better than the last one. After I formed this, I took it out of the uh, fixture and clamped it to the table in place with all the, the, the folds and the tucks in there and just heated it up really hot and then tried to squish it back down, get it to shrink and it did pretty good. It's still, you know, it's not perfect. Part of the problem was I, I was planishing from this backside that's not visible and I think if I do it again, I'll flip it over and make sure I planish from this top side here and so not quite sure what I want to do there. If I wasn't trying to learn, I'd probably just cut away, you know, a good portion of this flange and just leave the, the slightly folded over part and then weld in a, you know, a curved flat piece and, and just form like that. And I suppose I could end up doing that as well, or at least just notching out one of these corners and then letting it, letting it fold and then welding it back up. Um, that could be what I do. Or I, I guess I could just do it like this and then anything that, um, the only trouble is here is you can kind of see one of the, one of the tucks is kind of folded over on itself so it's not really um, shrunk, it's just folded over on itself. It's pretty flat and actually there's two spots where it's like that so I'd like to not have that happen just so I can get some practice um, doing it better so not quite sure how to do that yet, but I think what I'm, this is close enough to where I think I can experiment with some ideas. One thing I notice is that my flange is much, it's much smoother going over this edge, but it's almost too smooth. And so, uh, the first one was too sharp and this one's too smooth. So I'm going to have to, uh, figure out a way to get in between. And so what I did to create this was that I, I really just softened this tool and created a 45 degree angle on the back side which is where it goes up against my piece of wood and I've also trimmed this wood back um, to where it's to where it's not in the way anymore and so what I did with that, with that one was I just kept this this tool in a single spot and I just snuck up on it slowly all the way around there and didn't let it move and do a bunch of uh, marks and it didn't, uh, what it did, it didn't place a bunch of marks in the panel where I didn't want marks, and so it, it left just it just it just put the you know the marks where the tool was pressing in there, and I didn't move it in a bunch of different places. So it looks still pretty clean. Um, it's actually really clean. It's not quite deep enough. Um, at least this way, it's really close and it's not quite sharp enough on this edge. And so this was a good practice piece to do. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do it again and I'm gonna make sure I've got this a similar spot that I'm uh, hammering with that tool and then um, try and sharpen up this edge as, as I'm forming it. I, I just literally just formed it with the um, the slapper, that's probably why it's smooth. And so I may get it over and then I may, I may try and kind of hammer or slap on Dolly just to get it a little sharper. I think actually, yeah, I think I may form more of this down and then put the bead in. I think that's, cause that's why I, I put the bead in here first and then, and then folded it down. So um, I think we're gonna try that. All right, that was a lot of talking for not a whole lot of uh, useful information, but I thought it might be interesting at least. it, fold it over, get it to shrink a little bit, then planish it out flat again, and then kind of fold it some more and do it. That way you never get into a spot where it's just folded over on itself. You always kind of sneak up on it. I suppose that might be a, another way to do it here. 
it's uh, I'm seeing a lot of pretty serious folding right there that I suppose I could try. That's not a bad idea. I might be able to hammer against that. Let me make sure I got my hammer here. same um, I'm getting about the same amount of folding or compression that I did before here let me zoom in let's see trying to keep this edge of this tool trying to keep the edge of this tool lined up with the outside of of this edge um, it's not perfect but um, it seemed to work pretty good when I um, did it down that practice piece the last time so just tapping it not not any huge hits and also making sure that it's not crooked or cockeyed on there or whatever that whatever you want to call it here. And then I can kind of get it, kind of hold it steady, kind of press it against there. And I'm using using the wood as a little bit of a backstop too to keep it at the right. better than the original one where it was getting bends and marks everywhere. That, um, that angle that my, I think of my this wood is not quite as opened up as I need it to be, and so just trying to judge where the bend is, where where the bend, where the two bends are happening to make sure I don't let one get out of control or get off kilter where it's supposed to be. It looks like this one's a little shallower than I'd rather have it. Oh, there it is. And so... I don't know, that's 
pretty close. I suppose I could, one of the things I could kind of get that, try and keep it from popping back up. see it bouncing so that means it's not against the not against the uh, form yet it's starting to get better I want to make sure I don't hit on the corner because it'll flatten out the radius I just want to make the radius bad spot. Don't like it. There. Let's go. I got this pretty good. My bead over here is not so well defined. So uh, I'm wondering if I can sh just shift this piece of wood this back or do I need to take it off and trim it some more? Let me see if I can measure. Make sure I'm not fooling myself. Point, point four inch. Point four inches on an angle. Point four. That's point four. That is a little shy of point four. Not much. It's just like right, right in here. Maybe. Actually, it could do between there. Actually, yeah, it's even a little bit there. I'm going to take this off the form. Actually, here it's okay just between those blue lines. I'm going to take this off the form and fix that now. Got this back on. This is the edge of my sheet metal to the um, plywood here is very close to the same distance all the way around. Um, I even discovered that I trimmed, I trimmed this little edge, the flange, just a little bit so it clears that screw because I realized as I'm trying to um, press down this this little bead, beaded edge it's running into the screw and it's not going to be able to get down there and so I'm, a, I'm starting to feel a little lump that is happening there so I noticed that my flange is not as deep starting about right here all the way over so I'm gonna
right, so I think I'm, I'm fairly happy with where it is. I don't see any big gotchas or, or deal breakers yet. And so the only thing I'm really concerned about is the is my little tucks here in this corner but I got away I know I can at least get them as good as this and so I'm hoping I can even do a little bit better uh, I may I may want to trim some more of that material off uh, before I try and smashing it down um, I just like to make sure I don't smash anywhere near my my um, my lines that I've been forming so um, other thing I've been watching is this radius on this outer edge to make sure it, it's consistent with um, consistent with the existing fender arch and so it looks pretty close I may have to kind of tweak the joint edge because that's going to be where the, the difference is uh, the most obvious and so I really like to make sure this 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 edge out here is as close to that edge on the fender as I can make it. And I've just been planishing planishing this a little bit. It's not really moving anymore. It's just trying to just trying to sharpen up this radius a little bit. So we'll take it off the we'll take it off and we'll see what happens here. All that hammering must pull the metal a little bit over and so it kind of binds up the the pin a little bit. So that's still there. Alright. So it's looking pretty good. That's uh, I should put up a, a video or a picture of all three. Uh, we'll see how my video editing skills are doing that. So I'll put a picture of all three or I oh know I got four I think. Yeah I got four so we'll show the progression here. But um, I don't know if you can kind of see bead is pretty good. I mean it looks it looks visibly it looks about correct and so I think this flange just needs to come over a little bit more but I'm gonna leave it for now. It's close to 90 degrees. Um, on the fender it's actually over 90 degrees. So, um, but that's kind of what I'm worried about right now is what to do there is how to really shrink that. I'm not quite sure if anybody has any ideas on how to do that better, uh, let me know. So what, I, what I'll do is I'll clamp it to the table once this, once this curve is, is, is where I know I need it to be. I'll clamp it to the table that way when I heat this up and smash it all down it can't stretch and, and unfold itself again. So uh, alright let's see, let's kind of get this matched up on the truck and see what happens. It does fit better than the last one. So I don't know if you can kind of see. Uh, I can look in the video and kind of the video screen kind of tell me. It tells me there's something going on. It's a little off here, but I don't have it um, trimmed here. So I, it's at least an eighth of an inch inboard here. And I can alter this, this little distance. This art. Oh, okay. Actually, it's supposed to be about there. And we'll see if that's that's closer to where it needs to be. It looks pretty good. So what I'll do is I'll have to trim this. I need to trim some off the bottom, and I need to trim a good two inches off the top here um, to get it to fit into this notch. So I'm not ready to trim it all the way close yet, but um, I would like to, to get it closer. Kind of maybe get some magnets on this and hold it in place. Um, yeah, it looks pretty, looks pretty decent. Much better than before. And it's all a single piece, so I'm happy. I think I'm gonna go with this, uh, unless I screw it up in the, in the next couple days. Um, let me mark it and make sure I trim, make sure I don't trim more than I need to. Okay. All right. 
That's pretty good. Gives me at least a quarter inch, at least a quarter inch extra, and then on the bottom, I've got to trim that off. Okay, right, so this is trimmed a little bit better, um, and I am pretty happy still. Um, so uh, let me get. I wonder if I got a magnet that'll hold this on here. No such luck, huh? I wonder if this one will. I'm going to try and get it to where I can show how the, well, let's get the camera zoomed in and then we'll see. Here is my bead of the new, this is the new panel and this is my fender up here. So what if I get these to line up really close together as best I can and kind of see how they, how they line up pretty well. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but it looks pretty close. So. After it's welded together, it's um, it's gonna be really close, and I'm 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 really happy so far. So I think what is next is to trim this trim this closer to size, and then see about where my fit up with the rest of the panel is gonna be. So what I'm gonna do is. Um, well, maybe I don't need to clean this up. I'm going to kind of figure out where I want to cut the new panel. And I'll cut that out and then I'll place that over the spot where I want to um, weld it. And then I'll scribe or mark wherever that joint is. And then I'll cut the rest of this fender to match that panel. And so, um, uh, oh, I may not, I shouldn't do that yet. I should flatten that, um, flatten those those tucks first. That's going to be tricky. Next up I'm going to try and planish down this this uh, shrinking or I guess the tucks that need to be shrunk in this little corner here. So um, I'm going to do that with a torch. The last one I did came out okay. Um, I used my my lighter weight body hammer to kind of flatten it out and I don't think it has enough weight behind it to really squish some of these these uh, folds in here and so I also want to try and do them individually a little more carefully rather than just blowing blowing through them with as, as quick a hits as possible that way if I can avoid having them fold over on top of one another that would end up um, I think it end up looking a little nicer one problem I'm noticing is that by trying to flatten these out holding them on a flat um, what I'm doing is I'm holding this curve and preventing it from from un unstretching or unbending by holding it down on this flat plate but then this surface here is not a flat surface it's curved uh, for the wheel for the wheel arch and so I'm gonna try and get most of it flat uh, with it with a torch and get it most of the way there and then I may put it back on the form and um, do it the rest of the way just so I can maintain that that little uh, curve a curved portion of the fender there so uh, I think that's probably enough, enough chit chat in here. So. There, let's see if we can. And remember not to touch it with your bare hands. Something's. any fold over so that's good I'm happy about that uh, this is hot still I may I wonder if I can 
wonder if I got something I can just... I wonder if my... Man, that's hot. Get a punch to... See if I can just get it hot. Here, a pair of ice grips out of there. So I'll have to take that out, get it back on the, um, oh, well, I'm gonna let it cool, that way it can't, can't stretch out or um, bend anywhere. So I want it to stay in the curvature that it is. And so um, let it cool down, um, get it back on the, the hammer, hammer form, uh, make sure this, this curve is back where it needs to be. And then I also saw there was one little spot over here I could, show you in the next the next video where the maybe the radius was a little too soft and so um, that looks pretty good I mean uh, we can, let's see if we can get a get a closer look it's a little bit it's a little bit um, you can kind of see some of the the little I don't know, distortions or forms but I think those will planish out pretty good um, and so um, that's much better than the previous one I can I can show there that was that one and that one this one you can see there's a fold there's a fold over right there and uh, there's two there's one here and one here oh, there's one here and one here so um, much better than the last one I think the, the key here is just persistence and, and so keep it keeping uh, keeping on it and solve just one problem at a time make sure you keep track of what's going on and uh, it's coming out pretty good so I'm happy there's a little bit of a spot in here where right near the edge where that bead, that flange is formed where it's not quite flat. And so I'm thinking by this, when I get it back on the, uh, I think when I get it back on the hammer form over here, that um, I'm hoping I'll be able to take care of that because I'll be able to get at it from the other side and smooth that out. So. All right, so I got the, the panel back in the, uh, the little fixture here. And um, actually this curve on this, um, this uh, heated area where I uh, planish those, uh, those tucks or folds out is not that bad. So um, I think I'm just gonna kind of flatten them back down with a body hammer and um, make sure one of the details I noticed is that the, the radius up in this area here was not quite as sharp as I thought it needed to be and so uh, what I did is I got a clamp um, right on top of where the, the worst spot is to make sure that it wasn't just um, the fact that it wasn't being held tight enough and so I'll probably go back over that area a little bit with my uh, with my uh, whatever this tool is called uh, we'll have to think of a name for it um, but um, I think we'll just uh, get going flattening this year right now this side a little bit that might there we go that, that gets it down where I need it but this little edge pops up maybe the edge popping up is not a big deal the fixture I can uh, tackle just that one spot and get it to fold over a little bit more. Alright, so that's, uh, I think that's 
that's about it for this. Um, it may be time to uh, start scribing and cutting it down into size and actually get it, getting it welded into the uh, fender next, I think. Um, unless, I can, unless I can think of something else that I should do first, um, I, I'm, I'm excited to get going on that. Okay, bye for now.